Hi, Victory. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Hi. Uh, so, Victory is joining us from UK at the moment. And uh, Victory has been a big promoter of girls' education. Uh, she runs an NGO for girls, promoting uh, various aspects of um, girls' empowerment. Uh, at the same time, uh, she is very excited to launch Voice It, a new magazine, which talks about humanitarian issues. And uh, Victory, welcome to Talent Talkies. Thank you so much for having me, Julie. So, Victory, tell us, how did you get where you are today and what or who helped you getting where you are? Um, okay, thank you so much, Julie, for having me on your platform. Um, I started in 2017 when I recently graduated from university that is in Nigeria. So, um, I really wanted to make a difference, you know, just looking around, especially reaching out to people with what I have. So I started and then obviously my dad helped because he was really, really um, supportive. What you have to do um, if you want to achieve your dreams. Yeah, he's there to help. So I sat down with a group of friends and I said, okay, see, this is what I want to do. This is what we need to do. We have a lot of people in dire need, a lot of people in the slumps, a lot of people who need to see what they can do or what they need to achieve. And then that is how we started reaching out because we were given the opportunity. Obviously, we're given the privilege to go to school. We're given the privilege to be educated, but most people don't have that opportunity. So, um, that's how I started and um, obviously Voice It magazine is reaching out to humanitarians, people who are doing humanitarian activities, uh, people who have NGOs, charities, and then they are reaching out to other people, making their lives better. And also for entrepreneurs, creatives and innovatives, people who are very creative, they, use, they are using their creativity, be it talent, photography, music, they're using their creativity to reach out to other people and encouraging them that you can find your voice. So that's how I came about and that's what we've been doing. When you started, what, what were the challenges you faced and how did you overcome those challenges? Okay, so most of the challenges I faced were um, not getting so much support from friends because they don't key into what you are doing. They just want to achieve whatever they want to achieve. And for the fact that I was a girl, um, because I'm still a very young um, girl um, trying to achieve a lot. And for the fact that I was a girl, a lot of people don't pay attention as much you're a young girl or oh, there are lots of things you can do why don't you just do what girls are doing at your age and uh, i really really found that really difficult and obviously finance because we were starting up we're trying to reach as much as a lot of people and then getting people to key into your vision to sponsor was a bit of a problem but we overcame those challenges because i didn't give up i did not look at my whether I was a girl or whether I was a woman or no, not none of that. And it really, really helped because I was focused and that's what really helped me over the challenges. That obviously we're going to face challenges along the way. It's just you not giving up when you face those challenges. Yeah. So my next question was going to be that did you face any issues with you being a girl in this field, which you sort of answered, but you want to add something? Obviously, um, hmm, I did because, um, like I said before, a lot of people assumed, you know, you're supposed to do what girls are doing your age, you know, enjoy life. Um, why are you so focused on this? Um, but those were people who did not understand me. And for the fact that maybe we go to a um, an office, maybe to receive ask for sponsor, and then maybe the man and we meet is just saying, oh, you know, you're a young girl. Why don't you look at all these things? You satisfy me, I satisfy you. So it was a bit of an issue just because of the, they were a bit a sexist, will I say that? And um, not many people go through that challenge as a guy. But for women, it's quite different because they believe that, oh, there are some limits to being a woman. There are some limits you have to, and it's really, really, disturbing it's really really bad that a lot of things are happening like that with women around the world and it needs to stop but those are the challenges i faced as 
you know, as a girl in doing doing things. Yeah. Do you have somebody you look up to as a mentor who has helped you on your journey? Yes, I have. Um um my uncle is um in is his Nigeria that's past Chris Oyekilome. He has really really helped a lot because he supports he um tells you you can do all things if you set your mind to do it and obviously my dad my mom those three are my key uh, mentors because my uncle teaches me that never give up my dad teaches me be bold stand for the truth my mom teaches me like oh you have to be very calm you need to be patient you need to understand people when you face true challenges don't react you know so combining those three mentors has really really helped me because when i face a challenge i know i'm not giving up when i know that something is not right i know i have to stand for the truth and when i know that um people might disappoint me along the way i know i have to be patient with them because they are coming from a different background so that has really helped me and it's still helping me up to now yes oh, that's fantastic yeah. Okay. So, um, obviously, you already have an NGO which you run. Uh, I'm sure that you're working with other women and uh, other uh, staff. And um, what have you learned about entrepreneurship? Because very soon you are starting your new venture. I'm sure that you put in a lot of effort into that venture already. Yes. Um, what about and uh, for me, entrepreneurship is basically starting something, you know, new in a different way. um obviously there are lots of things that have been out there lots of businesses that have been out there there's no new idea but is what you bring to the table your innovative side to that idea that makes it different so like some people will always tell me you are the dna of your business nobody can run your business apart from you so when you sleep your business sleeps because you are sleeping yeah. but when you Yeah, when because when you put things in structure like you put things in the right place and you have the right team because I work with a lot of women, a lot of young girls and what I do is that I give them the opportunity to grow. Bring your idea. I don't just enforce my idea and say this is how we have to do it. We are not we are never going to grow because they have maybe an an idea within them that can make it different. Right. that can bring yeah. from perspective so what i do is i say okay this is our round table does anyone have an idea or does anyone have something we need to do and they love it they enjoy it because at the end of the day i give them all the credit and we celebrate each other and say okay fine this is what you've done this is what you've achieved congratulations you made it you made it work right. and you see them with all the excitement saying that oh yes and they want to do more so we grow with each other encouraging each other so while you are doing your entrepreneurship know that you have to be very aggressive because someone no one is going to make your business go that far if you don't speak about it you need to really speak about your business any in even in your little conversation you can just say oh you know i'm launching this you know i have this you know i'm doing this you don't really have to make it the subject but then you've chipped it in and it has registered in whoever you're talking to and then when they go back they remember oh victory said she's launching this let me call someone that you know might be interested so that's how it works and it's like connection networking and all that so it's quite interesting yeah, yeah. you sort of covered but you know sometimes a lot of uh, younger is like yourself when i ask them that what's your advice to the other youngers and they say oh we are too young no you're not too young for the simple reason that you're so focused and i think most of the young generation they don't have focus yeah. to go further the stride further so what's your advice for them what i would say is start if you think about starting tomorrow you might think about starting tomorrow again so just start um no no idea or over like works overnight you need to progress you need to continuously working but when you start you know you've started so my advice to them is when you start just keep on going obviously you face obstacle but don't give up never give up because no one is going to tell your story apart from you and you really need to tell your story you really need to show your gift so yeah so start you've already talked about what next 
but i think uh, it will be great for our viewers to hear what is voice it just like the name says voice it you are we are voicing out people who are making so much impact even without getting global recognition and um, mm-hmm. voice it is a magazine is um, basically getting people humanitarians creatives entrepreneurs people who are innovative coming into one platform and then we are showcasing what they do but we're not just showcasing what they what they are doing we're also inspiring other young people to start what they need to start so that's what voice it is all about we are not just showcasing we are also encouraging you saying okay fine you can do this you need to start you need to bring your gift into reality you need to if you want to start an ngo fine start an ngo this is how you can start an ngo these are the stories of people who have started this is the challenges that they face so don't expect so you're learning from them and then you have you know a background a foundation on how to start then for businesses how do you start your business how do i go about it do i because a lot of people feel like i need to get a lot of money before starting a business or well, you can actually start a business with just an idea and you know meeting people investors so we are giving them tips we are encouraging them we're telling them that yes you can do it through this magazine and we are making their voices become louder and bolder so that they can start what they need to start and i feel like a lot of young people have so much potentials and they need to really really start so if we can do that for them give them a platform to start it would really really be inspiring that's that's yeah. wonderful um we thank you so much for being on talent talks and i'm sure that lots and lots of girls young girls will be encouraged by your uh, wonderful interview and i i wish you best of luck for your voice edition thank you so much